welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to tell you guys about some tips that i had for detoxing for weight loss but it doesn't have to be for weight loss it can be for anything um you guys know that i never just focus on one area of the body i feel as though um when you do something it's going to affect everything so it doesn't just have to be detoxing for weight loss but these tips will especially help you if you're looking to lose uh, some weight so guys i wanted to mention that in this video i'm going to be going over some things that i personally have done and we're also going to be talking about some methods that I learned while I was in school um, you guys don't know this but recently I just completed my um, certificate for school and um, you guys know that a couple years ago I actually finished um, my health coaching course and you know got my certificate in that and so this year I decided to go back to school again so that I can brush up on some of the things that I wanted to know in regards to detoxing so this was something that was especially for detoxing and also I wanted to figure out a little bit more about formulating um, clean products so I actually just completed that and learned a lot of tips and tricks on detoxing that I'm going to mention to you guys in this video so this intro is already getting too long so let's go ahead and get right into the video hey guys so the first way to detox of course is to drink water water is super important to your detox um, journey just because water does help the body to eliminate toxins and anything that is not needed through you know waste so drinking water is super important and if you don't like to just drink straight up water you can add like apple cider vinegar you can also add like um elderberry which i like to add to my water and you can also get like a really cute water bottle like i have here where it tells you each time <laughs> how much you're drinking and it kind of gives you like a pep talk on the bottle so that's pretty fun to do so and a lot more interesting than just drinking water in a glass cup the next thing i want to recommend to you guys is to eat fiber of course you can either eat fiber or you can do it another way which i'm going to tell you guys in just a moment but if you are into eating like leafy greens and like greens that have lots of fiber in them, it's really good for your body to um, get that type of nutrient just because you want to make sure that you're kind of like getting everything moving. The main thing with detoxing is that you're having a lot of stuff just like sitting there or just like in your body that is not exiting the body. So why not get a little bit of help from fibery foods and things of that nature as you guys see i'm making this kale salad which was so good and i'm using this spicy cashew butter that i got from the store and yeah so if you are not in the mood for leafy greens or if you just don't have time to you know make a huge salad like you see in this video then you can always do a supplement today i am using this supplement which is a fiber supplement from bellway i love that this company has organic fiber with little to no extra ingredients in it so my favorite is this raspberry lemon i like it it tastes like juice a little bit um just don't go overboard and make sure that you do not put extra cold water into the fiber mixture because that will um, make it very clumpy and you don't want to make that a mistake i did at first and yeah it just doesn't taste good so make sure that you are keeping an eye on that i do have a discount code down below for you guys if you're interested in bell weight products it is shantae 25 for 25 percent off of your first order at Bellway. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys that I did contact Bellway and ask them about each of the ingredients that are in their um, mixture, and they were nice enough to explain to me everything just so I can make sure that there were no like MSG or GMOs in their fiber because of the amount of chemicals that can sometimes be in ingredients. And products I want to just make sure that I covered all the bases and found out a little bit more information about 
So I'm so glad that they were able to give me more information on that. And it also makes it a lot easier for those of you who just don't have time to kind of like look over the ingredients like I do. By the way, comment down below if you are currently on a detox kick or if you've ever tried any methods and don't hesitate to share that with everyone down in the comment section. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to cover is detoxing through your skin. And when you sweat, you actually eliminate toxins from your body. So if you want to go to a sauna, if you want to go and work out in the gym, walking, running, those things actually detox your body. And sweating is actually the, one of the best ways to detox. So body sweat, um, moisture coming from the body is an actual detox for the body. Um, of course, these things that I mentioned in the video will be even more effective if you did them all together. But exercising, getting your body moving, and releasing some of the toxins is one of the best things you can do to release and detox the body. The last method I wanted to talk about is a method that I learned while in school, and it's called the crowding out method. With the crowding out method, you actually um, don't really stop eating what you're eating all at once. You actually instead put in the healthy foods mixed with the foods that you're already eating and the purpose of this method is to organically weed out the foods that you're eating um, while adding in healthier foods so the method actually says that and i know this is not just a method it's something that i actually did when i first started my healthy um my healthy lifestyle journey and that's adding in foods and eating healthier foods to where you're not gonna even want the unhealthy foods anymore. Your body's gonna naturally start to reject the unhealthy foods. Um, now this method needs to be done correctly for it to work, but um, and that is by actually paying attention to what you're eating, but not trying to like put too much on yourself at once and it's just like a sustainable way to do things doing things one at a time small batches so that you're not overwhelming yourself and you don't have to be on like one of those crash diets where you try to detox for like a month straight and then after that detox you go right back to the way that you used to eat or your body starts to shut down and you get like depressed or something like that um, because you're putting way too much stress on your body by trying to be perfect it's not about trying to be perfect it's about doing things one step at a time so that you can ultimately get to the stage of your healthy journey that you want to be at so guys i hope that this was helpful for you if it was then please leave a comment down below and don't forget to thumbs up this video um love you guys so much i'll be back with some more hair videos soon thanks again to bellway for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys later bye thanks again to bell